almost ready to head out of here, but uh, I gotta go through all my tarps first. There was no tarps on the trailer, so we got four to go through and set up. I'll be sweating first thing. That's how you know it's gonna be a good day. Or if you saw the sunrise, according to my dad. I'm getting there. Well, I did get my tarps situated, and now I just got loaded. And now I'm gonna secure down this load, and then we're uh, headed down the road. So, getting off to a pretty good, healthy start for my first day back from home time, and in a new truck, everything's going pretty smooth. Pretty happy. Doing all that took me way longer than it should usually. New equipment, new straps, I had to break the seal on each strap. And then new straps are kind of hard to fold. A little slippery, I'm trying to get them straightened out as I go. And then, uh, yeah, just a few things that were different. The new trailer, never strapped this trailer before, finding out reference points on this trailer. So that was fun. Now I left them all loose so I can go up and flip them all. Get a half twist on each side. All right, all ready to go now. Ooh, yeah, that took me probably close to twice as long as I normally would have, but like I said, I was getting used to some new things and um, kind of just now figuring out a process with this new trailer, everything's different, so. That's kind of fun for me too, a little bit of a challenge. Anyways, onwards, let's get out of here. I made it here to the customer or I call everywhere the customer, 
when it's not technically true. There's only one customer. The guy that's paying for the freight cost on this load here. But I'm at the place that's gonna unload me. And uh, it's not gonna happen until the morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff off. It's a risky move for a couple of reasons. If you're hauling anything that's susceptible to shift, not a great idea on account of, I got to move up a little ways before they're going to unload me. So you want to be pretty confident with yourself before you start doing that. The other is like, you might end up having to go somewhere before you actually get unloaded or something of that nature. And then you're in a situation where you got to restrap. But two things working in my favor. I'm here, I'm getting unloaded first thing in the morning. The likelihood of me being sent away is almost zero. This type of palletized freight, I'm not gonna have the load shift problems that I would with other things. And I'm also only moving just a little ways up. And I'm probably gonna leave like, you know, a couple straps on there. And that way I'm, protected to some extent but i can get the bulk of it taken care of tonight was that too wordy does it even matter do you want to just go back to watching me do it or maybe you just want to watch someone else's video you can go do that too hey also today was kind of like rough a big learning curve with my truck here new equipment i'm not never hauled a spread axle trailer like this before so when it came time to scale today i'm like okay what am i doing here this trailer doesn't have any air scales on it, so I couldn't even gauge myself. Not that I would have really meant much because I don't really have a baseline to start from or a reference. And then uh, some fun backing maneuvers with that stretch frame there. Like, there, there, there are my drive axles of the tractor and there's the cab. And normally I'm like right here, the drive axles. So um, it just, it turns different. It backs different. The trailer backs way different with the spread axle. So it's been a learning curve today and I'm glad I haven't had to get into any real tight spots. I had to make a fairly tight right turn getting into the place where I got loaded today. And uh, that was just like real low, real slow. Um, flashers on, had a few cars behind me cause I'm turning off a big main road, but I slowed way down, way ahead of time threw the flashers on just like let them know like something's gonna happen here i'm probably gonna hold you up so hopefully i didn't ruin anybody's day too bad but i was just like it's my first real turn in this trailer and i'm not not about to mess it up so it all worked out and i can get this unloaded here in the morning and move on to better things not a bad day I don't know how much you caught of that before my camera tipped over. Still no tripod, still leaning my phone up against things, against my wallet on top of a bucket, pretty cool stuff. So uh, what I did is I went ahead and grabbed one of these buckets the other day, a couple of them actually. And I'm thinking, I've always struggled with when I get these trailers that only have one box, I'm like, What's the most effective way to transport my straps back and forth? And uh, I fit five, I only fit five straps in this uh, five gallon bucket here. But what's cool, I can't really see because it's dark over here, but uh, it fits right there in that box pretty nicely. So I think when I'm on the opposite side of the trailer, I might start doing some toting back and forth with the bucket. 
because I can just maximize my trips. I can carry five straps in my arms, but usually by the time I get them to where they're going, uh, things get disorganized and I feel like when I just grab one in each hand and then hustle, I end up like time ahead and it might just be because I'm bad at like picking up new tasks and challenging myself to carry more. But at the same time, I'm also just like a little bit lazy. I really don't like um, stretching my muscles too far when it comes down to it. I try to take small bites and uh, just get consistent at doing a lot of little small bites for the sake of my body. But um, I think I might start using those buckets. We'll see how that goes. Tell me if I'm stupid. Tell me if it's a genius idea. Anyways, I got three more straps to pull. I said I was gonna leave a few up, but I ended up talking to this guy and he was like, you know what? Um, all you're gonna have to do is just pull right out and uh, we're gonna unload you. So I was like, sweet. In that case, I mean, I don't think anything's gonna happen to this palletized load in that time. And you know, worst case scenario, I have to throw a few straps over in the morning, but I don't know. I just like to get as much done as I can while I can, if that makes any sense at all. I might be shooting myself in the foot or I might be saving myself time. Only the morning knows. Anyways, I think I'm gonna about call it here. Good guys, if there's anything you miss after this, it's just me cleaning up and going and washing up across the street at the truck stop and then uh, calling it a night. Later.